So welcome in to my channel, Happy Place to Grow. We are doing all things gingerbread lately, and we have yet another fun activity to work on together. Today we're going to do a little gingerbread person, cookie, boy, man, girl, whatever you want to call it. We're going to do a little gingerbread math. We're going to be measuring, comparing the gingerbread body parts to a specific unit. So for this activity, I have brought my snappy cube. That's going to be our unit of measure. Let me just place those over here. And I have selected out red and green because it's so close to Christmas. Now this activity is going to involve our visual and our knowledge because we're going to be guessing or estimating about how many cubes tall or wide or long different parts of our gingerbread cookie are. So we're going to be taking an estimate or a, a guess based on something we know. Guessing is just random, but when you're estimating in math, you sort of have some knowledge. You know the size of your unit, you're looking at the size of the object you're measuring, and you're making a guess based on that knowledge. It's not just random, you don't know anything. You do have some information, and as we go along and measure some of the parts, you'll even get better at your estimating. So, I have this little logging sheet. It's called the Gingerbread Man, and it is from a company called Ames Education Foundation, and it's really fun. It says, we caught a big gingerbread child. Now I plan to measure it. This is the unit I use. So you could use different units of measure. We're going to be using these snappy cubes. So we would write in here, I used, and I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I used cubes. Okay. I used cubes. Now here's what we're going to be measuring. His height. We're going to be using those um, measuring, comparing uh, math words. We're going to measure the height. So from the top of the gingerbread to the foot, we're going to measure how tall the gingerbread man is. We're going to be guessing. It says my estimate. That is our knowledgeable guess based on the size of the cubes and the size of what we're measuring. We're going to measure his head. So that would be the width, right? And we're going to measure his leg. So we're going to measure all the way from here to here, his leg. And we're going to measure the arm span right here, this, the arm. And then we're going to measure the arm span. That'll be different because that's from arm to arm. So I'm going to get started. If you want to join me, I would love for you to help me with your estimating and measuring skills. This is an activity we can do together. And then you can maybe draw yourself a gingerbread person and find something around the house. Now, if you're using any kind of unit to measure, it needs to be the same unit. So if you use cubes or crayons, use all crayons or paper clips or cereal if you want to make a gingerbread person and then lay some cereal down. It needs to all be the same size. The unit needs to be the same. All right, let's get started. First of all, we're going to measure his height from top to bottom, but we're going to be making an estimate about it first. So we're going to be thinking about how tall this gingerbread is. Hmm. He looks pretty tall. These cubes are small in size and height. So this is one cube, right? So I am going to estimate or guess, I'm going to say um, 10. 
Would you estimate that? I may be off a little because I've not measured anything yet. So my estimate's going to be 10, 10 cubes. And now I'm actually going to measure his height and we'll see. So on this uh, stack that I've got so far, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 cubes. So I'm thinking about 10, right? So I'm actually going to straighten my cube stack up and I'm going to put it down at the bottom. And I know that that stack of 15 is definitely taller. So I'm going to be snapping off a few. When you're using units of measure, it won't be super precise, but we want to get it as close as we can about that many. All right, there we go. I snapped off two. Oh, I think that's just about perfect. What do you think? So I had 15 and I snapped away two to measure the height. So 15, if I count back to 14, 13 cubes. Hmm. So my estimate, my knowledgeable guess was 10, but it actually measured out 13, not too far off. Now, of course, we're going to go for his head, and I know that the space between um, from here to here is a lot smaller than the length of his body, so I'm definitely going to estimate smaller or fewer than 10. Hmm, way smaller, don't you think? Because that space is definitely less. Um, I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with four. And I'm basing that on what I know his height is, right? So I'm using my estimating skills, my knowledge of the size of the cubes, and the size of the space compared to what I just measured. Okay, here I go. I'm going to use that same stack, right? And I'm going to, I'm going to go straight across his face there. And I'm going to snap off where I think this looks, uh, what do y'all think? Let me put this a little closer. Definitely four. Based on my estimating um, skills, I got that one correct. Sometimes that will happen. But you know, if you don't get it correct, that's okay because you're just estimating. It's just a guess. It's not right or wrong, but you're working on your skills of thinking about space, size, and comparing. And so those you're sharpening those skills up. Sometimes you'll be right. Sometimes you might be off a little. It's okay. You don't have to change your estimate. You're just comparing and guessing and testing out. Okay, let's go to the next body part, which is the leg. The leg is pretty long, and we know that the whole gingerbread was 13. So I'm going to estimate, hmm, I'm going to estimate about seven. I'm going to do seven. I'm going to put my estimation at seven. And um, I know right now there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, because I've been snapping off. So let's just stick with the nine, and then we'll put it on top of the gin. Oh, nine is too tall, right? So I'm going to snap away. Aha! Uh -huh. I know I had nine. And nine minus two. So nine, if I have nine, nine, I put nine fingers up and I take two away. That leaves us at seven. Wow, I'm feeling really great about my estimating skills. And the more you practice this, the better you get. That one was really correct too, but it's based on the fact that I know that the total tallness of the gingerbread was 13, and the leg is pretty tall, so I just used my best information to help me make a great estimation. Hey, this is fun. Remember, you can do this at your house. You can make your own gingerbread person, or even if you have a stuffed gingerbread like I do, you can measure that, lay it down flat, get a unit, 
cereal, paper clips, that has to be the same unit. Okay, let's go to the arm. Now the arm is definitely shorter than the leg. The leg was seven. So based on that knowledge, I'm going to say, and I'm going to think even about the head space. I'm going to say four for that one too, because it looks like the same space. What do y'all think? I'm going to say four too. So I'm going to put this on and then I'm going to snap off. I like that popping sound. Okay, I'm going to start his little ginger, little gingerbread hand. Aha. Uh -huh. What do y'all think? About, let's count. One, two, three, four. Hey, I was, oops, I forgot to put my estimate down. I said four, and it measured four. But remember, I'm getting my estimation based on what I know about other parts of his body. And that's when that estimation can really, really um, be clear and crisp and you can do a better job at estimating. See, I was a little off here because that was my first estimation. Got better as we went on. Okay, the arm span. This is funny, I love this one. So we're gonna be measuring from fingertip to fingertip, right? So I'm gonna have to be adding, and I know that one arm was four, so this one is gonna be four, two. So that already makes me think that it's gotta be at least eight but maybe I need something in between. So I'm gonna go with 10 as my estimation. I'm gonna go with 10, right? Because I definitely know four and four um, is eight, and then I might need two in the middle, maybe just one. But I'm basing it on my information, so there's my four. And then I'm gonna add another four, just snap that back on. I love these snapping measuring cues. Ah, let me show you. Do I need some more? Do you think I need two more or just one more? Let me try one, one at a time. Let me get a random here. Pop! I love the popping of the cubes. Okay, let's put them across here. What do you think? Oh, my arm's in the way, my hand's in the way. So let me show you. What do you think? Could we add one more cube? Ah! You know, when I guessed 10, I thought, hmm, it's probably just going to be t 9, but I think I got that one correct, too. Wow! <gasps> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. But again, I'm using my knowledge, which actually helped me to estimate pretty well, and that's going to save a lot of time if you're measuring an item or you're doing some school work at school and your teacher wants you to estimate, you can use your information, your knowledge to help you be faster and more accurate. And that's what math is all about. Now remember, if you estimate not correct, it's okay. You don't have to change it because you're just guessing. Notice how I got better and actually was more accurate after the first one because of this very first measurement, then I got more accurate as I measured the body parts. Awesome, that was really fun. So I wanna encourage you to do some math at home on your own, have fun measuring. You can draw out your own gingerbread cookie, you can decorate it, and find something around the house to measure the different body parts. You can do the head, you can do the arm span. We could even go here and do the buttons if we wanted to. So the sky's the limit. I want you to have fun with all things gingerbread. Continue the gingy fun and keep your skills going even during Christmas break. These are activities you can do with your family members or if you you know, if you've opened all the Christmas presents and you don't have anything else to do, sharpen up your skills, do some estimating. Hey, you could transfer this activity. You could measure anything around your house. You could measure your gifts that you got. 
You could compare them to the box that it came in and just you just have to find a unit, something to measure. You could even use standard measures like a tape measure or a ruler if you have those around your house and you want to sharpen those measuring scales. All right, have fun with all things gingerbread and in sharpening up your math skills. And until our next time together,